an amazing artist. Right, okay. With Keep what? going then. So you you describe to me what you're doing then. So what have I taught you? So, so the two elements to airbrushing. Right, push down for air and pull back for paint. Yeah, so what are you going to do now? Push, but I'm using the water right now. Yeah, we're just using water, aren't we? Not too close. Oh. Uh, this is the hardest time. It's, it's very... It's hard to do it at first because it takes it takes practice, 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 mate. It's the hardest writing my name I've ever done. Okay, so we're gonna whip that over. All right, so another face for me. Do me another face. Oh, they're hard. They are hard. Just yeah. Okay. Just easy, easy. Down for air and what? Across for water, like that. Down for air and back for paint. So what happens if we pull that trigger back too much? That does. That happens, doesn't it? Do you know what they call that? that flooding. No. Call it flooding. And that is definitely something that we don't want to do. So up here, okay, down for air, and I just want a little bit of water coming out there because we're just practising with water, aren't we? Okay, and feel that trigger. You can get in a little bit closer than that, mate. So this is George, age 11. Yeah. Okay. Doing all right there, mate. So keep that finger pressed down and then just, you know, like if you're stroking a caterpillar no. down his back, no. right? So if you if you had a caterpillar there yeah. and you are just stroking his back like this, yeah. that's what you've got to do with this finger. Very carefully just stroke that caterpillar's back until... But if you press on too hard, you're going to hurt him. Okay, so you only have to be very gentle. Mm. All right, mate. Yeah. That's it, doing some squiggly lines. I just did my name, but like... That's fine. Quick. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to do my name quickly. Because it's tiny letters. That's the best one, yeah. And that's because when we're airbrushing, right? So when that paint comes out of that nozzle, nozzle there at the front, yeah. close to subject. So if I've got my airbrush there, mm -hmm. right, and I pull right away, watch what happens to paper. So I'm I'm a good six, seven inch away now, and look, right? And the further away I go, like this. From the paper, the less that goes on. But the closer I get, like this, I can do intricate work. By controlling that finger. Like that, you see. Yeah. Have a go. Wait, so like, if I do this, really, like the start of the hand. That's it. It, like, it ha it's hardly touching. It don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, that's called distancing. And the closer we get in, and we control that caterpillar stroking finger, mate. That's it. Wait, I'm doing what you did. Holding your hand steady. Yeah. That's a good little technique for a start of that, mate. Lovely. That's really good. Excellent. Hey. That's it, mate. That's like just amazing. Cool. Right. Uh, we're going to go and pick your mum up. Where from? Work. Work. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to knock it off uh, for now. Have you enjoyed that 10 minutes? Yeah. Cool. When we come back, we'll do some more. All right, mate? Yeah. Cheers, bud.